how to find and wholesale vacant land step by step. Guys, it's Rick Ginn. In this video, I'm going to walk you through from start to finish on how to find great vacant land deals, how to wholesale them, how to get cash buyers all the way through the end. So let's start out with it. What is vacant land? Vacant land is simply what it says. It's land that's vacant that has no type of structure, meaning a house on it, and you're simply just selling the land. So the mechanics are gonna be very similar to wholesaling houses, but instead you're just doing the land under it. But before we get started, do me a favor, I need you to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button to continue to receive the absolute best wholesaling information available today on the internet. So let's talk about some of the differences of wholesaling vacant land versus wholesaling vacant houses. So number one, vacant land is going to have significantly less competition than wholesaling houses. So many people are focused on wholesaling houses that they forgot about this strategy of just doing land. Remember, land is just the land underneath the house. So if you take the house off of it, it should actually be easier and it is. So when you wholesale land, it is by far, by far, there is so much less competition. Number two, your price points are gonna be a lot lower. So these lots, just the cost of the dirt is significantly cheaper than building the structure in most cases. And in that reason, you're going to have lower price points. The third advantage of it is think about this, because it's just land and there's really no appraisal process, very few banks will finance these and there's such low price points is they move fast. You can do a land deal by Monday and actually have it sold by Friday. And the really cool part guys is the one of the things that excites me the most about doing vacant land is there's no tenants, meaning that there's, there's no renters in there. There's going to be no homeowners occupied on the property. So you never have to deal with the mess of dealing with, uh, you know, I got to walk around the tenant. I got to deal with the homeowner. They've got cats and dogs. For the most part, it is free and clear for anybody to walk on that piece of land, take a look at it. And for that fact alone, these properties are so much easier to show your cash buyers. Guys, these are just some of the advantages of working with wholesaling vacant land. The other exciting part about wholesaling vacant land is if you're doing it virtually, meaning anything outside of your immediate market, this is a awesome strategy because it eliminates the need of knowing what the value of the entire real estate is, meaning the house, you just have to figure out the land. And for that point alone, I love to do virtual wholesaling vacant land deals because they're simple, the price points are low, I can show anybody the property, they can drive by it, they can look at it on a Google map, they can do a search, it doesn't matter. It is really, really easy to show, and for that reason, it's easy to produce cash buyers and sell it quickly. The other part I love about vacant land is this technique is truly one of the techniques that is truly scalable. And what do I mean by scalable? Like you can do it on a much bigger level. So if you want to even do it like in certain states or like the Southeast region, once you find your criteria, the land is the, the price points are lower. They move much faster and cash buyers make very quick decisions. So you have much less of hiccups that come up or what I call roadblocks when you're wholesaling vacant land. And guys, all these points, I could go on forever on vacant land. It's just simple. Vacant land is one of the strategies I found by accident by finding an owner that owned a property and then they had the piece of property next to them that was vacant. And I basically got them to throw it in the deal for a couple thousand dollars more to find out only I was gonna make so much more money with the vacant land. It was so much less headache. Let's talk about some of the cons of wholesaling vacant land while we're on it. Now, number one, you're probably not going to do as many deals because there's less and less land available out there. And as more people build and as more towns get populated, land becomes less and less available. Number two, the profit margin on these deals, they get a little bit slimmer because they work 
on all cash and they're much lower price points. So sometimes if you're buying a lot for $3,000 and you're selling it for 6,000, even though the margin's really high, $3,000 is not a lot of money. So you're gonna have to make up for it in quantity. And that's what I talked about scaling earlier on it. Last but not least on all vacant land, they require much deeper discounts than you wholesaling regular houses. The reason for it is you have to get a deep discount to be able to move it quickly, especially to a cash buyer that possibly or potentially wants to build on the property. So you have to negotiate a much steeper discount. But guys, that's it. There's not a lot of cons to it. I think the pros by far outweigh the cons when it comes to wholesaling vacant land. So listen, when it comes to wholesaling vacant land, you have to do it in a reverse wholesaling order. Now, I always tell you when you're wholesaling single family homes, you want to get these properties under contract and then you can build your cash buyers list and move fast. You guys have learned if you do this backwards, a lot of buyers won't take you seriously and it's hard to put the deal together when you're just wholesaling houses. So when you're just doing houses, get the deals under contract, start building your cash buyers list and take the best cash buyer and do it that. When we're gonna wholesale vacant land, we are gonna do it opposite. We are gonna go from the cash buyer all the way back to when we buy the property. The reason you have to do it this way is because you have to establish what the value of the piece of land is worth in your market. And I'm gonna teach you techniques on how to do that. Because vacant land moves so fast because there's so few obstacles, you have to do this reverse meth method or you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. The good news is it's easy, it's fast, and it's very predictable once you figure out your local market. So let's do the reverse order and let's figure out how to find vacant land cash buyers for this deal. So the easiest way to find these vacant land cash buyers is simply go on your computer. So what we're gonna do is go to listrei.com and I'm gonna go into the list in a little bit more detail. And I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna find vacant land owners and I'm simply gonna cold call them. And it's that simple. Once you start doing that, you can start to establish what people will pay for. So using listrei.com, you can use the filters for vacant land and you can search. You can do it in a geographic area, start in a small area and work your way out. What you're gonna do is start cold calling these people and find out what areas they're buying property at, okay? And what price points they're gonna pay. It's that simple. It's a two process qualification questions. Guys, do not complicate it, keep it simple. We're doing this in reverse order. The next thing I want you to do is go to Facebook groups and simply put in the search, raw land deals, vacant land deals, and look for groups and these are gonna be your active cash buyers looking for deals, hopefully in the areas that you're farming to find vacant land. And then once again, you're gonna find out what areas they like to buy, break it down to zip codes and cities, and then find the price points they want. And then what you can also do is, when you do vacant land, you, you wanna match apples to apples. So find out if they're buying quarter acre. I've seen as low as like an eighth of an acre, but quarter acre is like the standard method for people pricing vacant land. Um, if you go to a half acre, it's just two quarters put together, three quarters, and then all the way up to a full acre. Understanding what size lots in those neighborhoods are selling and make sure you price them accordingly, either a quarter acre, half acre, full acre, up to five to 10 acres, however you wanna do it. So once we establish what the cash buyers wanna pay for the property in the area are there, is you always go, okay, well, how do I figure out the pricing strategy? And guys, this is actually the easiest part of vacant land. It is simply basic 101 arbitrage. Let's just say a quarter acre land. It's selling for $10,000 in a given market. How do I know this? I've called all the cash buyers of vacant land in that area from either my Facebook groups or I pulled a list on listrei.com. Once I have that and they're paying $10,000, if I find a seller willing to sell it for less than $10,000, you can green light that deal and you do it in reverse order. So say you're picking up the property for $5,000, the market's demanding 10,000, you can demand a $5,000 premium on it. You can do an assignment, you can do a double close. I recommend an assignment because it's such a low transaction price 
and most cash buyers on vacant land could care less if you do an assignment agreement with them. Guys, it's that easy. If you get it for six grand, you make four grand. If you buy it for three grand, you make seven grand. If you buy it for eight, you make two grand. Once you establish on how to do this in the reverse order, it gets much easier as you go along in doing this. And this is why I love wholesaling vacant land. So that leads us to the next crucial part is how do we find these vacant land deals? So number one, I've already mentioned it. I'm gonna go in the list to REI.com because it's simple, it's fast, and it's effective. And you can pull up the 10,000 leads within this software. Now. You can use the filters within it. They're very, very simple to, to use. Just pick your geographic area. I would just use the vacant land filter and then I would dig, a, dig away through the size lots you want and then go ahead and compile your list from there. The next method you can do is do FISBOs. And these are for sale by owners, people selling their own real estate. I'm gonna forewarn you, they're a little bit more difficult, but there is room to work with them especially on the ones that are having problems to sell it, that is a great place to start. And last but not least, a simple driving for dollars. And I'm saying driving for dollars, looking for infill lots. Infill lots are basically those lots in between houses that are vacant. Some of them are well-kept and some have like big tall brush on them. Those lots are waiting for someone to buy, to develop. You will make the neighbors very happy because neighbors don't like big, giant, vacant lots. It drives them nuts and it really upsets them. So infill lots are great. One of the best ways to get infill lots is to do driving for dollars on it. Last but not least, if you want, you can pull your county records, but it is a little bit tedious and it's a lot of information to sort through. So I like to stick the simple things, listrei.com and driving for dollars, in my opinion, is the best way to do it. Let's talk about the marketing methods for getting in contact with these vacant land leads list. Number one, the best way once you have that list, once you skip trace your list, is cold calling. Cold calling's fast, it's effective, and it's very scalable, and it will get you to the quickest lead as fast as possible. That's the number one way to do it. The second one is simply SMS text blasting and you're taking those same lead list and you can do it via text. And the reason I like this, it's very scalable, especially for you guys and gals doing this all by yourself. To me, it's, it's right up there with cold calling and I like it a lot. Now, for those of you that have a little bit of a budget, a simple direct mail piece, you can use that. You get your list together. I would stick to a postcard. It's very simple and the only downside is it's gonna cost you a little bit more money and it's gonna take some time for that mail to get out and get the phones ringing and doing it that way. And last but not least, you can use RVM, which is ringless voicemail. Please make sure you check in your state and make sure it's legal. Don't do it if you're in the state of Florida. So guys, most of the marketing channels are the same you're gonna do for wholesaling houses. We're just adding vacant lands to your list. I'm gonna give you a little bit of bonus piece, a little trick we use right here in our business, me and Zach, and it's how to find the best markets to do wholesaling vacant land. And I've been using this for a really long time, and actually you can use this as a house hack if you wanna wholesale houses as well too. If you wanna find the best markets to doing it, the, really one of the best way to do is go to any type of social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, and just look for other investors that post about their land flip deals. Now, it you can replace that word. You can do it with houses as well. And what happens is people like to brag. How do they do it? They post checks. They post pictures of the house. Well, look at this deal I did. And usually you'll see it over and over again. Another trick to this is get on the wholesaler's buyer's list. So if it's by email or text and guys, I just, I've always told you, you need to vet your cash buyers list, but I do take advantage of this ploy. If people are just going to constantly berate me with text on how they're flipping their land deals and their house deals, I'm going to take advantage of it. And I just reverse hack. All I do is pull up the zip codes that they're having success in. And if I see it multiple times over, I know that market is ripe to attack and you should do the exact same. Guys, this is business. If you're gonna put it out on the internet and you're gonna make it public and you're gonna make it super easy for me, 
I'm going to take advantage of it. It's perfectly legal. And that's why I tell every one of you to make sure you vet your cash buyers list so you don't get reverse hacked with this secret little technique me and Zach used. Tell me what you think. Do you want to get in and wholesale vacant land? Have you added it to your wholesaling houses repertoire? I'm telling you guys, there is a ton of money in doing wholesaling with vacant lands. I know a lot of you guys didn't think about it. You know, how do I do it? Guys, it's really, it's actually simpler. You just take the house off the land and you just sell the land. It's really that simple. I broke it down to you. Remember the key to being successful at wholesaling vacant land is to do it in the reverse order you do when you wholesale houses. Meaning you have to figure out what the market's going to pay for it and figure out what your cash buyers list. Because once you get that vacant land under contract, you can literally sell it in as little as five days. So you have to be ready. You don't have as much time as you do when you wholesale houses. So guys, tell me what you think. Are you adding vacant lands to your arsenal? Have you already taken advantage of it? Do you do it virtually? I would love to hear feedback from you guys. This is Rick Gim with Flip with Rick, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.